Hey, hey, everybody. It is Monkey Puzzle, and it's time for episode number 42 of Exploring Ragnarok. At least, if you don't number that last episode where we had the great motorboat race around Ragnarok. So that happened on Sunday. Hope you caught that. If you didn't, the uh, recording of the live stream is up on my channel. So a bunch of good, chaotic fun. <laughs> I'll let you check that out. I'm over here in the highlands plucking out sheep. And this Bronto, he was just wa trying to walk over my dragon a second ago, uh, really wants to get in the video. So, yeah, I've been putting my herd together because we got up to the technology to be able to make vegetable cakes, which means I can get sheep for wool, and then I can also get uh, snails, akatina. I'm just going around seeing if any of these are an especially high level or pretty color. Actually, I don't know if I have any girls yet. I don't think level really matters with these, with these guys and gals. It's just all about getting their wool. So I'm just going to grab one of these females, I think, and then we'll head home. I came out here first with the griffin and then was very sad to find out that griffins actually cannot pick up Ovises. <laughs> so imagine that. Okay, you can fly any time now. There you go. A little delay in the game today. I don't know why. We look at my inventory, not my inventory, but look over here. The ping is just fine, so that may happen today, but uh, oh well. That is Ark. So let's see. If I can manage to grab this female here. And then we'll head back. And there's a bunch of different things we could do today. I'm just going to go along kind of casual-like and get some of them done with you. A lot of them involve the S Plus update and automation of things, which uh, I haven't really done much with. Some of it feels a little cheaty to me. So it feels like a blessing and a relief to uh, save myself some of that work. So anyway, uh, I'm going to head back to my little garden island. And I will see you there. Although I'm going to stop along the way at my old watchtower base and pick up some of my human hair, <laughs> which we will be putting to use too. So I'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, back at the island. I know Ovis are old news for most people, but this is actually the first time that I've actually tamed them and use them. So we gotta tame that, that one up, that gal up. And I got a nice haul inside the wyvern here too. Go ahead and land. Yeah, I got a good haul. I picked up a bunch of cementing paste from my other bases and got a bunch of chitin in the process of killing mantises. And I've got a bunch of organic polymer and a big old meat haul too. And this junk, <laughs> who needs that stuff anymore? Oh, look, you got a sword. That's cool. All right, so you don't need to see me sort the inventory. Actually, let's pull up a little bit. It should be in range uh, for pulling. But, you know, one of the things I can do now is I can go ahead and hitch the dinos to the hitching post. And uh, its little cord's got to come back from infinity and snap there. And so now I can't even ride this guy. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, so that's cool. The downside of that, of course, is they can't defend themselves. So we have to uh, make sure that you do have some dinos that can defend. Around here, nothing. It's like, this is like total Irby Island. I haven't even seen a pego here. So it's pretty, pretty mellow. So first, let's deal with that Ovis. Actually, not in here, but I could show you. Well, I'll show you in a second. I've been making veggie cakes and i think in this one yeah i have some and it seems to only take one i don't know if that's because our taming here is cranked up we're cranked up to 10 times taming which is really nice although when i looked on the wiki it seemed like even for any level in the default vanilla there's still one cake dun 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 <laughs> i tamed it the wild, dangerous Ovis. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and put this one on passive. 
so it doesn't try to defend over here, not that it's going to. And you can see I've got one of the S plus things set up here already. I've got the sheep herder, uh, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, I like it a lot. If you look at its inventory, you can see that it runs on meat and it's been automatically shearing the wool on these. So that's cool. That just saves me a little mundane task. But I do like the animation of shearing them yourselves, besides the little flashy thing with the, the scissors. It's just, that's, that's so cool. It's like so well animated how like each little portion of it gets sheared off. <laughs> so sometimes I gotta do it myself just for fun and there's actually something else i want to make too that while i've got the scissors in my hand i don't oh i can't put that in there okay you can only do it itself in uh let's look in my inventory here for crafting there's this thing called the animal tender now which is this little bunny and you need human hair to make it so oh wow i need 200 oh gosh i'm a ways away <laughs> Um, but by the time I get Akatina, I'm going to need this because it can pull the cementing paste from them and keep it collecting, which is awesome because all those little tedious things of just continuously pulling from them, it'll do it for you. And it's going to make cementing paste a much easier thing. And believe me, I have ground my share of it here. So let's start collecting hair. I got 38 on me from the one and only time I ever cut my hair here. I guess I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> it's time for a haircut. So we could just leave it the same. Um, or we could pick some more head hair. Oh, and I don't have any styles anymore. I could be Viking. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty good, actually. I think I could do that. Huh. Okay. I've had them all before, and now I don't. I don't understand how that works. So we'll go ahead and do viking and then facial hair what do i got we're not even going to mess with it because uh i don't even have the ones i had before look i had the goatee and now i do not so unless i'm doing something wrong here so yeah okay let's accept hopefully i don't lose my goatee forever no it's still there cool <laughs> So I'm going to have to give myself a regular haircut so that I can make the animal tender. I got 20 from that. All righty. So, yeah, we got a sheep. We got a sheep herder. This is a funny place to be collecting wool because it's pretty warm here. But it just seemed like a very pastoral island and a good place to do it. So you can see up here in the cooker... I've been collecting quite a bit of stuff together to be able to make tons of veggie cakes. The one blockage for me right now, actually, is honey. They had honey to the recipe. So I've got one hive over on the, the boat, my motor boat, the, which I named the shark fin, because that's kind of what it looks like. But that's not really enough, so I'm going to need to get another one soon. So I'm going to be collecting some more bees. But one thing while I'm in here... I wanted to show you is let's pull all that out. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Uh, we'll see. But look first that there are no blueprints in here at all, right? No recipes that are contained in there. Let's go ahead and pick it up and then get it back and put it back down right here and see what happens. Aha! So the recipes are in it now, which is awesome. You got all the dyes, and it tells you what you need to make them in here. We got the consumables. So vegetables is cake. <laughs> My son would love that. <laughs> the only vegetable is a cake. And then all the crafted foods. So all those recipes that you normally have to pick up from drops, they're all now listed in here. And all the kibbles. So that's pretty cool. It'll still auto make them when you put the stuff in here, but now at least you can see them. And it also gives you the ability to use this new feature up here, which is automatically pulling stuff that uh, you can make. So it allows you to pull stuff. I actually don't know if I have any of these K 
cactus broth and broth of enlightenment and I wonder if Kalian soup is here. Yeah, it's got all those, but I could make that actually. Um, but I need to uh, harvest some berries. So we could do that. Um, Kalian soup is what you use to fuel the, I think it's the farmer, which I actually want to make right now too. Um, yeah, so we'll have to do that. So I, I can't move actually. <laughs> so let me get rid of this stuff real quick and we'll put it in there. And then there's a number of things we can do next. I, uh, involving honey, involving Kalian soup, involving making some of these things. Let me put this away while I've got the tail in my face. And then I think I got most of the stuff in here. So yeah, let's make a few things. Let's make the farmer. So here's where I can show you how that works again with the new pull mechanisms that come with Structures Plus. So this is your normal pull that would have been down here before. Now it just says patch notes and documentation, which are cool to be able to have access to. So yeah, the pull function is gone from down here, but now there's this new stuff up here and up here that is just part of the the HUD at all, all times at this point. So this is your pull function. Now one little quirk according to how the dev kit is set up right now that you can't just click on that, the pull stuff. And like it says, you need to select an item. So that could be a crafting thing. It could be an item in here. And then this will open up to the normal pull menu where we can pull all kinds of stuff, anything that can go into this inventory. That's really cool. And then uh, notice that it's also over my inventory too. So I could pull anything directly into my inventory, which is just awesome. Now, new stuff up here too is this is for crafting anything that you don't have the, uh, or it's, it's for, excuse me, it's for pulling the items to craft something here. So if I clicked on this and I click on this, it'll give me the ingredients for that because it needed cementing paste and that was over in the wyvern. If I wanted to make two of them, I could have just put two there and it would have pulled enough stuff to make two. So let's go ahead and make that one now. So we're gonna have a farmer. And then this button up here is for pulling the materials to repair things. So for instance, if I wanted to repair this, I don't know if I can do it from my hot bar or not. Let's see, probably not. Let's put that up there actually, but I can only do that in the smithy. But if I had something repairable in my inventory, but if I was in the smithy, and that was in there, I could click it and do that and so on. You get that. So the other thing is now like, not only can I pull stuff directly into my inventory, but I can use that pull for crafting in here too. So I'm gonna make the nanny and I don't have much of the ingredients at all. Oh, nanny needed human hair too. Okay, so I'm gonna need to cut my hair like crazy. But if I click her and do this, oh, what am I missing? I am missing, oh, it says, uh, it says I didn't have the, um, the weight necessarily. No, not enough inventory space. Okay, but I could have done it in here. We'll go ahead and do the nanny over here just cause it's simpler, but you get the idea. So these are really powerful new tools that come with S plus and not everybody has figured it out yet. Uh, what's missing? We have all of that stuff. See, I've got the hair in here. So let me just go ahead and put that manually. I'm not sure why that's not working. Bam. Huh, so it's not 100% perfect for sure, but we can put the hair there and then we could just go ahead and click on her and pull the cementing paste we need from the wyvern. Let's just take it all, pull, boom make the nanny. So not 100% perfect. There is a lot of bugs, a lot more bugs in the beginning, but for the most part, that is working. Like when I spawn in here, I have a tendency to be spawned in from <laughs> way up in the air and drop to my death. Oh, you're still following me, aren't you? You can't come in here. This is humans only. Sorry. 
And so I had to remake all my stuff and making things in my inventory, like the reusable bolas and the parachute and all that kind of stuff, made it really easy just to be able to pull stuff from all my bins from my little crafting menu here, all my engrams, and just pull them like that. So pretty cool new features of S+. So anyway, I went ahead. You can come with me. Oh, I can ride them. I forgot. I'm going to be too heavy, though. <laughs> We're just going to leave you there for now. You can be in the way. But, woo, that door. So in here, I want to put the farmer because he's going to keep fertilizer in my crops here automatically. And it'll make me a little less lonely over here if I don't get enough visitors. Whoa. He's looking really weird like that. Look at his eyes. <laughs> I think that's just how the ghost image looks. That's going to be the cowboy hat and stuff. But uh, wow, that would be pretty appropriate for Halloween <laughs> for sure. So I can move the farmer at some point. Let's stick him. I don't know where he wants to hang out. Let's put him right there. There he goes. <laughs> now he's back to normal. So he needs to run on Callion Soup. And the nanny is good for raising uh, animals. It's actually like an automatic imprinter, which is really weird and probably a little cheaty. But I may end up using her anyway because um, to, you know, to do the imprinting, there's 14 different dinosaurs you got to tame. And I don't mind doing that. But on a server like this, everybody doing that, it just makes it like super laggy to have to get all those dinos and everything. and I could do it over at B Funds because he's already done it, but then I feel weird using his stuff. Anyway, so I got some mannequins around here. <laughs> now she is activated on Honey. The reason I made her now is because she also tends to preserve Honey, and Honey is one of the things I need for this guy. Oh, I turned you on. Um, so I'm gonna use her as a Honey refrigerator, and we got to make some Callion soup for him. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's just get some berries going. My berries are back. I had lost my berries for a while because one of the downsides that came with the S Plus update is that the, um, the S Plus feeding trough that I had right... I did have one right here. I think I moved my feeding trough over here. Now it's vanilla. And I had one down there. They've got this huge range right now. And in that huge range, things do not spawn, believe it or not. So uh, somewhere over here, I've got it. Let me just show you this real quick. Let me grab these. There's one. So if you want to keep stuff from spawning, this is the thing now. it got this humongous range, too. So if we go in here in the S plus feeding trough and we go show feeding range, look at that graphic. So apparently it's a 35 foundation radius, which is great for feeding animals all over your base. But then also in this range, nothing respawns. So my berries wouldn't come back. My trees wouldn't come back. And that totally defeats the purpose of this, of this berry farm. So... There's a heads up about that. If you're wondering why your stuff is not respawning, there is a config where you can turn down the range. We tried it, didn't work, so I gotta figure out what I did wrong. Uh, Orion said, said it probably had something to do with my syntax <laughs> of uh, how I tried to do it. Let me see, let me just get one more swipe of berries here. So today is mostly a little exposition of S+, because with the big update, there's all these new features, and then these old features that I haven't used yet. We had the range of S Plus pulled down before, but it's default at the moment, and I'm not going to say nothing because I'm really <laughs> enjoying it. So let's see if I can pull this off now from Crafted Foods and Callion Soup. Let's see if I can pull stuff for it. Some resources were not pulled. Huh, I wonder what wasn't pulled. It says it's all there. And then uh, let's see how many we can make. Could we make like 10 of them? Pull for that. Resources pulled for night. Oh, because it can't pull the water. Okay, oh, and let's turn it on. Awesome, so we're making Callian soup. So it pulled all those other berries 
from the Bronto. I pulled the crops from the crop plots and I already had the stimulant in here. So that makes it super easy. Can we make 20? Oh, we can make 13. So if you don't have enough for the number in, you put in there, it can go ahead and make them anyway. So that's gonna be the fuel for the farmer, a little buddy here. So let's go ahead and put some Cali and soup in him. There we go. Bam. And hopefully this will uh, motivate me to use a lot of these little recipes just as buffs around the map when I need it. Bam. <laughs> so now he's alive. He's alive. I can't move because his feet are sunk in the foundation. Same with her. They seem kind of small, but uh, I also made my character kind of big. That might be a little combination of both because I am equally sunk in here. So he just pulled a bunch of fertilizer from the beetles. Uh, it looks like all of it. What I do not have right now is the item collector going, filling the beetles. So I guess I'm going to have to get that going on. But then he's going to automatically keep these all stocked up with fertilizer. So I don't have to do the little tedious thing of going around and filling these all in. So that's very cool. So let me see. Let me go ahead and get some honey real quick. Let's unhitch this guy. It takes a second for the ride to show up. There it is. And let's go get some honey from over on my boat. And I'll meet you over there. All righty. Over here at my lighthouse base. Go ahead and grab some honey. So, yeah, this was all set up for the race. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what happened because it would be more fun for you to watch it yourself. <laughs> I really should put the ghillie suit on, but I don't care. I'm just going to brave this because uh, it only lasts for so long and it doesn't kill me. So we're going to go ahead and take all that honey and uh, kind of get that slow, slow debuff there. So let's go ahead and take this back and then just let's look real quick. See, the spoil time on this right now is 39 minutes. So let's see what it is once we put it in the nanny. All right. Hitch them up. I just do this with my flyers because, you know, flyers sometimes have a tendency to go away. So sheep. So there she is. Go ahead and do the honey. Put it in her. So yeah, we got 38 minutes. Except. And now it is five days, eight hours, 49 minutes. So she is a honey refrigerator. That I don't mind doing because honey actually never spoils. I mean, they found good honey in the tombs of the pharaohs. So it's silly that honey would spoil. But now in here, since we got this and this, uh, let's go ahead. I should have noticed how much honey she had on her, how much, tra uh, how much transferred, but I didn't. But let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I never put the fiber back. Let's go ahead and do that. I wonder if it would have pulled it off me. But let's select that and let's put like 100 in here and pull. Some resources were not pulled. Huh. So I guess it maybe it can't pull out of here. Oh, and I never activated her either. You're alive. You can move. Well, let's just take a bunch of honey ourselves. We'll give her some back. Keep her going. I'm having issues. And then uh, we'll put it all in here. Bam. Okay. Will you do it now? Obviously, like I said, this is imperfect. Can you pull those crops? How about for one? Yes. Okay. So let's try 100, which I know I can't make that much. For 15. All right. So we're making 15 more taste cakes. So, yeah, I'm going to keep the taste cake production going. But just showing you all these little things that, like, 
help automate this process a bit. So really enjoying that. And I should show you what I've done with my sap production. And then I guess we'll call it a day for today. The nanny is also going to be my key for imprinting. Oh, that's full. For imprinting without um, uh, having to do a whole kibble farm, uh, which is going to save me a lot of time and hassle. So let me know how you think about that. <laughs> Otherwise, if you really want to see me make a kibble farm, we can do it. But up here, let's do a little fast travel over to, I think I got it uh, right there, the SAP platform. Let's fast travel over there. And I'll show you my little SAP, uh, my little SAP collection facility. Uh, a la Eco's mod. So this is the Eco Tree, and then Eco Trees have four snappable points, and each level you can put the sap tap. So I went ahead and made a ladder so I could go up and down and manually collect from all the sap taps, but I actually had forgotten. I always remember you gotta select one item first that I could actually pull <laughs> using uh, S Plus, and I can just pull the sap from all well should be 16 i messed up place one in the same place so there's 15 right now i got to make one more um and pull all the sap boom so that's done so sap is not a problem now either we've got our total sap production facility over in this nice place in the redwoods which i may or may not do something with at some point so i think that's going to be it for today Go back to the Garden Island. Next episode, what I was thinking about is I've been keeping up with the streams from the devs, watching uh, Dave Excited Kangaroo and Jackson working hard on trying to get the next update ready. They're going to give us half of the desert. Let's see, we can hang out in here for this because, uh, whoa, <laughs> uh, I think we can turn this off now. Oh, and let's get these in the fridge real quick. These are precious commodity. Getting ready for some Akatina. I might just put them in there, or I might have to make a little Akatina house. I'm not sure where the snails go. Uh, in real life, of course, I'd never put snails in with my plants. Because they'd eat them all. Anyway, welcome to the family here. We got uh, four of us living here now, <laughs> including the sheep herder. Um, yeah, but... Uh, Ooh, another rubber band. Okay. Anyway, next episode, I'm thinking that there was an adventure you guys didn't see way back when. It was like in the early days of this series where BLP and I took a bunch of sabers or a pair of sabers each to the very uh, south uh, southeastern corner of the map, which was all desert. Let me go over to the bed again so I can show you all the way down here but of course right now there's not a whole lot here because it's all unfinished it's just the basic terrain which is changing quite a bit they're doing all kinds of neat stuff so apparently they're going to release that update on the week of the 8th which is coming up sometime so i was thinking it might be cool to fast travel down there and go grab those sabers and take them back and just give you guys a quick look at uh, what what it looks like right now so you'll really appreciate the difference when we go back and explore it and then of course when they drop that update we're going to have to go back and explore that in detail so they're doing like this whole section i think and then after that this whole section is going to come apparently this is where the sandworms are going to be so we won't quite get sandworms yet but we're going to get some legit desert here unlike the kind of quasi-desert that came with some of these islands here. I'm not sure if the weather effects are going to be in yet or not. I do have my uh, Parasair stored up here, Airstream, that we could explore the desert with. Or I was also thinking that on our way back, maybe we'll try to get uh, another Thylacolio and breed it with the one I have already. And that would be a good, use, a good way to put the nanny to use and see if we can get like a super uber thylacolio because they're one of the best ways to do land travel and land travel is how we always try to explore the new areas 
So <laughs> anyway, with all of that said, I'm going to sign out for now. Thank you for watching until the end of this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Please leave me your comments. Let me know what you think about all those ideas and everything else. I still got a bunch of underwater exploration to do as well. So I will see you for all of that. Bye-bye.